Good morning. Today is Saturday, March the 11th. Our lesson this morning is walk worthy of your calling. Walk worthy of your calling. And our lesson is coming from Ephesians, the fourth chapter, the first verse through the sixth. And the scripture lesson text reads, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness and long with long suffering, forbearing one another, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. But unto every one of us, given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Amen. This is a wonderful and powerful lesson. I'm sorry I went on and read the seventh verse as well. But it's such a great lesson. It said, therefore, Paul being a prisoner of the Lord, he had went to prison for his faithfulness. There are many people today that have died for their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to have a strong faith that if necessary, we are willing to give up our life. Because as, 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 as the Lord Jesus said, we want to hold on to a faith and to a life that is eternal. Not that one that man can destroy the body now and not destroy the soul. It said, with all lowliness and meekness and long-suffering, forbearing one another, being able to put up with and deal with each other, and doing it in love, endeavoring, making sure to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace, doing all things possible through the grace of God, to keep peace. There is one body, one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling. Whatever you are called in to go forth and do, to sing, to pray, to teach, to uh, be a, 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 a helper, and to do the will of the Lord, which is to heal the sick and to uh, cast out demons and to raise the dead the, the commandment that we were given as believers of the Lord one God and Father of all who is above all and through all and in you all he's in each of us he lives in each of our souls and as we go forward and we meditate on his word day and night as Psalms 1 says then we shall change and become what God would have us to be. I'm going to read you a passage from the uh, Matthew Henry commentary. It said, Nothing is pressed more earnestly in the scriptures than to walk as become those called to Christ's kingdom and glory. By lowliness, understand humility, which is opposed to pride. By meekness, that excellent disposition of soul, which makes men unwilling to provoke and not easily to be provoked or offended. We find much in ourselves for which we can hardly forgive ourselves. Therefore, we must not be surprised if we find in others that which we think it hard to forgive. If we realize some of the things that we have done and we still find it hard to forgive ourselves we, we, we uh, go back several times on situations or things that we've caused then that gives us understanding to know why 
we find it hard to forgive others. But we must do so in the love of God. We find much in ourselves for which we can hardly forgive ourselves. Therefore, we must be su not be surprised if we find in others that which we think it hard to forgive. There is one Christ in whom all believers hope, and one heaven they are all hoping for. Therefore, should be of one, therefore they should be of one heart. They had all one faith as to its object author, nature, and power. They all believe the same as to the great truth of religion. They had all been admitted into the church by one baptism with water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost as the sign of regeneration in all believers God the Father dwells as in his holy temple by his spirit and his special grace. This is a wonderful lesson knowing and reminding us that he dwells in us and that we can be humble, be humi have meekness, uh, not be provoked by others to do that which is wrong, that which is not of the Lord. I pray that you meditate on this wonderful lesson, and y'all have a blessed day.